This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Okay, uh, it's that time of year, isn't it? Um, it's about time I put a little Christmas type video together. Although, you know, to be honest with you, it's been Christmas since August, hasn't it? I'm looking, I went into my local branch of Morrison's in August, I think it was on August the 31st, and in the sort of bread and cakes aisle, there were little boxes of mince pies on the shelf with little snowmen and holly graphics on them. And um, yeah, I'm thinking, the kids haven't even gone back to school from the summer holidays and you're flogging Christmas tat. It immediately made me reach, I'll be honest with you, for this hat. There we go. I might do the uh, the Christmas live stream in this one. So anyway, um, nevertheless, it is, of course, now December, and uh, I thought it was about time I uh, I got my finger out and put a Christmas video together. And it was obviously going to be a Christmassy themed piece of music, and um, what was I going to do? I was a bit stuck for ideas, to be honest with you. I thought, well, jingle bells, but there's so many, you know, kind of rock and roll versions of that. Uh, that have already been done, you know, uh, Brian Setzer, I think, has done a version. It would inevitably end up sounding a bit like a carbon copy of something that's already been done. I thought about Silent Night, but, you know, it's, it was difficult for me to come up with any sort of interesting ideas uh, to, uh, to to put into that sort of context. And there was it was the same story for a bunch of other uh, Christmassy sort of tunes that I considered. Um, but... The other night, uh, Sunday night, I was sat in front of the TV, you know, just vegging out guitar on my lap, as you do. And, um, you know, when you, you start doing that thing where you just play a few notes and you think, I recognise that. You know, and it, it's you, you, you've stumbled across like a little snippet of a tune that you recognise. So, you know, you then kind of fiddle away at it and pull at the thread until you, you've basically figured out the tune. Uh, well, that happened, as I say, on Sunday night, and the tune that I was kind of messing around with was this one. So yes, you may know that as a, a little excerpt from uh, Greg Lake's I Believe in Father Christmas, uh, but it's actually um, a tune called Troika by the Russian composer Prokofiev, whose other hits, by the way, include the theme from The Apprentice. Anyway, I've got the tune there kind of pretty much figured out on the guitar, so now it's a case of, well, I need to think of like some chords to go behind it and, you know, figure out exactly what's going on and how to flesh it out. So here's a little bit of detail on how I did that. Okay, then here is uh, that melody all tabbed out. Um, just an eight bar little tune that we're going to do something with. And uh, first thing we need to do is take a look at what notes are in here because that will tell us what scale it's based upon and that will tell us what key it's in and what chords will sit beneath it. So um, let's have a look at the uh, music notation here if it helps. Uh, we can see we've got an A here, then a D, C sharp, B, uh, C sharp again, D, B, A, B, F sharp, A, then um, another B, A, there's a G note in there. So it's looking like we've got the notes of the D major scale, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Those are the um, the notes that we can say are in this, in, in this melody. And therefore, D major scale, key of D major, uh, which is going to give us access to uh, these chords, D, E minor, F sharp minor, uh, G, A, B minor, and maybe a C sharp diminished or minor 7 flat 5, something like that. Uh, so let's go through each bar. We've seen this 
uh, in reverse a few times uh, when we've looked at, you know, kind of looking at a guitar solo. Um, you think, well, okay, the notes that you emphasize over this bar are these notes because those notes are in the chord that's kind of uh, happening underneath it. But what we're doing here is kind of looking at looking at it from the other end of the telescope, if you like. Uh, we're looking at what notes are in the melody and therefore which chords will contain those notes and, um, you know, uh, therefore what chords will sit under each bar of the melody. So uh, let's start here. First of all, let's add another track. Uh, here we go. Uh, that'll do. And I'll you know, just leave it called track two. And I'm going to... Just change this to a acoustic grand piano voice. Um, so let's look at the notes we've got in this bar here. Well, that's a D, C sharp, B, C sharp, uh, D, and B again. So the the notes which are lasting the longest, we've got a D there for half a beat, and um, another D there for a full beat. We've got a B there for half a beat and uh, another B there for a full beat. So uh, out of that four beats in the bar, three of those beats are made up of uh, B and D. So I'm thinking possibly a G chord there. So let's just uh, throw that in. I'll make this just last a whole bar. So let's just uh, type in a G chord. Uh, we'll see how it all adds up later. This one here, this bar here, A, B, uh, F sharp, uh, and A. Well, that sort of suggests uh, either a B minor or a B minor 7. So let's put B minor 7 in, because if it didn't have the A note lasting for 50% of the bar, I'd be tempted to just uh, think in terms of this B and this F sharp here being the root and the fifth of a B minor chord. Um, but because we've got that A, that's kind of making me think more B minor 7. So let's just put that in. Uh, there we go. We'll make that last a full bar. Uh, what we've got here then? Well, we've got... Um, we've got a B and then... Um, a G and a D and so there's lots of um, B's, G's and D's here so that's probably going to be a G chord so I'm just going to copy paste that G chord from that bar and put it in there um, okay what we got here well the two um, well one note that lasts for 50% of the bar here is this A note and then the other two notes that we've got here are the G and the F sharp Okay, um, so you, you've got A, G, and F sharp. Well, an A and an F sharp come from a D chord, so I'm going to put a D chord in there, I think. There we go. Um, so what we've got here, we've got uh, A, B, A, and G. Well, the, the A, the G and the B make an E minor chord. So let's uh, just throw that in. So you can see what I'm doing is I'm looking at the notes that are in each bar and thinking, okay, um, which chord coincides most with, with those notes? You know, I'm not bothered that th this A note here isn't in an E minor chord. Three quarters of this bar, these notes here, the E, the B, and the G make an E minor chord. So we can just kind of um, think, well, that bar is mainly made up of E minor chord notes, so we'll use an E minor chord there. Right, what we got here then, okay, so we've got um, an A, an F sharp, an A, and a D. Okay, there's nothing, you know, if we look at, um, we've got a D note, um, there and an A note that's one and a half beats there and um, two beats there if we add that in that F sharp note and you know kind of a little bit more basically more than 50% of that bar is made up of the notes D, F sharp and A so I'm going to call that a D chord uh, so I'll just copy and paste that D chord from that bar there 
and put it in there. So what's this bar got going on then? Well, we've got um, a G, <coughs> excuse me, a G and another G there and an F sharp. So um, yeah, one and a half of the first two beats of that bar are basically G notes. So I'm going to say, well, the first half of that bar there, I'm going to say is a G chord. So we'll just make that last half a bar. Then the other 50% of the bar is basically an A note. So I'm going to say that's an A chord. There we go. Uh, so that's, and then that's an A chord. And then we're on to a D chord again here. So let's just copy and paste that. A D chord basically because there's only one note in that bar and it's a D note. Let's have a listen how that sounds. Yeah, I'm kind of happy-ish with that. I'm just not very sure about this G chord at the beginning here. Um, you know, you've got a, a D note and a B note and a D note and a B note. Those are two-thirds of um, a G chord. Let's see what would happen if we just... Just, oh, just a bit of kind of experimentation here. Let's see what happens if we turn that into a D chord. So I'll copy and paste that D chord from there. The B note, I guess, would strictly, in, in, in this bar here, would strictly make it into a D sixth. Uh, so I might put a D sixth in. Let's just see what a, a basic D chord sounds like in there, though. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. That gives me um, a chord sequence and a melody. And um, yes, I think I can do something with that. So as I said there, there's the bones of a tune. And uh, I'm going to be beavering away in the background working on that and probably putting the video up in the next week or so. Uh, and, you know, just we'll see how it turns out. I'm thinking at this stage, I don't know if I'll follow through on this, but I'm thinking I might just um, for like a chorus section, because we've essentially got a, a verse section there and, you know, many tune really needs a, a verse and a chorus. Um, I might just kind of do a medley and put like a, figure out another Christmassy sort of melody to kind of put in there and make like a, a little Christmas medley kind of thing up. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So as I say, I'm going to be kind of working away on that in the background. But tomorrow, um, it's episode three of the How to Play Blues lead guitar um, kind of series of videos that I'm doing. Uh, and it's a good one tomorrow. We're looking uh, or beginning to look a little bit more at modes. We've already uh, plumbed the Dorian mode into proceedings. We're going to be um, getting into the uh, Mixolydian mode tomorrow. So stick around for that. It's a good one. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now. <laughs>